Before we begin, I want to let you know that as of June 2024, I began working directly for Ed Games as an independent contractor. That said, in part one of this series, we explored how to measure latency on the Legends Pinball 4K P using a high-speed camera and a video editor. We also introduced an internal tool called ALT, or Automated Latency Tester, which helps us provide accurate latency numbers more efficiently. In today's video, we'll dive into two key topics, the average millisecond latency and frame latency for the current Zen table versions, as well as a demonstration and comparison of the Adams Family table, both before and after the latency improvement. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. The initial task was preparing everything to test the current latency values from the Adams Family table, that is, the flipper latency, before any improvements had been made. As a refresher from part one of this series, the flipper is wired directly to the right solenoid board. Every time I press the flipper button, the green LED on this custom board will turn off and is detected by our internal automated latency testing tool, or ALT. From here, I'll launch the Adams family and adjust the volume to 70%, position the camera over the right flipper, and take 30 measurements. After all samples have been collected, the software will automatically perform the calculations, and here we see 30 collection points or samples that were taken. The average latency was 138.80 milliseconds, and the number of frames at 8.33. I then took those same numbers and recorded them in a table on my website, along with some initial values of several other pinball tables. We'll take a closer look at all of the measurements in a few moments. If you would like more information on how these numbers were derived, please check out the Part 1 video linked above. On September 12, 2024, an improved version of the Adams Family will be released. In addition, a new firmware will be available with additional features and bug fixes. Be sure to check out the release notes for all the details. Some of the highlights include reduced flipper latency, reduced audio latency, and the ability to install tables to Flash Drive X or FDX, but this only works with the improved tables. As of this video, the improvements are exclusive to the Adams Family and the new Universal Classics Pack which will be available on the same day. Improvements to each table or pack will occur according to our release schedule. Now let's start up the Adams Family table with the latest improvements and running the latest firmware. The flippers are noticeably more responsive than in previous versions, making the gameplay much more enjoyable. But how exactly does it compare? Let's find out. Everything is now set up for testing the flipper latency on the improved version of the Adams Family. We'll run the same test we did earlier by making quick flipper presses, but I'll position the camera on the latency tester so you can see the 30 measurements as they are being collected. I'll fast forward through most of them so we can check out the final results. Pressing Q on the UI makes the final calculations and writes them to the log.txt file and then exits the application. We took a total of 30 samples, or collection points. The average flipper latency was 94.77 milliseconds, and with 5.68 frames of flipper latency. I'll take these numbers and apply them to the website, and we'll review not only the Adams family, but all existing Zen tables, as well as their values. But before we do that, some have indicated that in order to improve the latency, the resolution for those tables would need to be lowered. 
In this side-by-side -side comparison, we have the before improvement gameplay on the left and the after improvement gameplay on the right. In fact, the resolutions are the same for both. We'll talk a little bit more about that in just a moment. Until all Zen Studio tables have received the same latency improvements, there is something I need to make you aware of. If you start up any improved table, then exit, start one that has not received the improvements, you will encounter micro stuttering if you go back to the improved Zen table. Here's an example. The solution for now is to power up the machine and power it back on, then launch the table. Again, this is only temporary until all tables have been improved. Zen Studios and Ad Games are working hard to deliver all tables as soon as we possibly can to avoid this inconvenience. At this point, I've taken the before and after measurements for the Adams Family, as well as measurements for the Universal Classics tables, and applied them to the Ad Games Legends 4K Latency Guide using Alt. I'll place a link down below so you can see all of the most recent numbers, which will be updated as those latency improvements become available for additional tables. From the table of contents, select the Zen Studios Test Results section. At the top of the table, you'll find the table name, table pack or pack link, the number of samples taken, the average milliseconds, both before and after the improvements, as well as the before and after measurements for the frame latency. An additional column provides the display resolution of the table as well, along with the date in which the table or pack was last updated. If you're not familiar with the table and want to take a quick look, you can click any of the bold links to play a one minute short video of the table. Clicking the link to the right allows you to purchase the table or pack now let's scroll down to the Adams family. Here we see 30 samples were taken of the flipper. The latency before improvements averaged 138.80 milliseconds and after the improvements 94.77 milliseconds. That's a 32% improvement. In addition, the frame latency dropped from 8.32 to 5.68 frames. Of all the tables measured, the Adams family had the highest latency, which likely won't come as any surprise. The resolution for the table is 2560 by 1440p, and the resolutions aren't the same for every table in the list. You'll definitely want to check out these numbers on the guide for yourself, as they will be changing often for new tables. Speaking of new tables, let's take a look at the Universal Classics. Back to the Future came in at 86.03 average milliseconds and 5.16 frames. ET at 85.47 average milliseconds and 5.13 frames. And Jaws at 88.67 average milliseconds and 5.32 frames. Now I won't bore you with the rest of the numbers. You can easily see a significant difference in the before and after measurements. I'm excited to see these numbers. The difference between the flipper and the audio latency is noticeable with the improved versions. I provided the scientific data here, but what is important is what you think. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. I also want to mention we have the latency numbers for all other tables. Obviously it was a big job, even with Alt, but we will be adding those numbers to the guide shortly as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, click the subscribe. And with that, I look forward to talking with you again very soon.